Hello guys, how are you? This is the third episode of the build of the LR100 scale HMS Victory. As you know, I started to build this one straight out of the box and then came uh, Daphinismus uh, with his amazing photo edge set and I had to go back and redo, redone a lot of things I've already uh, painted and detailed. So I'm going to do this episode for you guys, but I had to go back as you know. Uh, like this right now, I am just thickening the walls uh, of HMS Victory because in reality the walls were much, much more thick and that will just give it a bit of depth when you look at the kit and well, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any question, please place it uh, on the comments and I will uh, answer each and every one uh, as always. Thank you, hope you enjoy this video and we'll talk a bit about it uh, later. Here I'm just making the walls of HMS Victory thicker uh, to give you the illusion when you look from outside that uh, the cannon ports are actually thicker because that's the reality of it. Uh, the sides of a warship back then were very thick and I want you to have that uh, impression when you look at it on its side. Um, I'm using some visual references from another fantastic modelers that made this kit. Um, you will be amazed if you look uh, for uh, Daphinismus and Daniel Fisher uh, forum. Um, the links are all in the description below, even if you want to get this uh, photo edge set, okay? It's the least I can do, to be very honest. And it's a, a fantastic set indeed. And I am using photo, photos and, and visual references from that build and it is truly amazing the level of detail that Daniel and all other uh, modelers there go to enrich and make this kit visually more appealing and real. It is truly amazing. Here you can see uh, on the side walls where the decks are going to slid, uh, slip just to fit in. When you are when you are gluing these, uh, if you do this, when gluing these uh, wood sticks, uh, these add-ons, please uh, don't interfere with the surface where the deck is going to slip. Okay, make it a bit um, smaller in order for when you fit the deck that that wood extra doesn't interfere with it. Here to be quite honest, it is unnecessary what I'm doing. Um, I was just having fun and started to place uh, these wood extras in everything. Uh, I stopped in the middle, but I was just having fun. It is unnecessary. It won't be seen.
Can you see the effect on the gun ports? They are thick. And now I just have to remove some ejector pin marks. Uh, as you noticed, I repainted everything in red. Um, guys, I'm still having second thoughts on this red. The instructions say that I should be painting it red. However, I saw pictures where there is this white uh, tinted white, this kind of um, off-white color. So I would like, I would appreciate your help. Um, in your opinions if this ship should be red and if red is correct or it should be uh, the correct off-white paint I still don't know and I still look at it and I twist my nose a bit I'm still I don't know why I don't trust the instructions uh, the instructions are probably uh, regarding the time when this ship was um, set to sail, it was ready to uh, to his duty. Uh, I don't know, white or red, guys. And now the window frames. As you know, I have to remove it, uh, the original ones, and replace it by this, uh, the plate one of Daffy set as long uh, also the, the victory name of the ship so I will have to remove all this detail the name of the ship and the window frames I will replace it by the Duffy set and well see for yourself everything will have to be repainted I'm just preparing the surface to receive the photo wedge set so everything will have to be um, prepared also you might notice because I do close-ups maybe I am using a little bit too much of uh, CA glue super glue no I'm not I'm using it on places that if spills a bit it won't be seen it will be between the windows okay um, also be careful I'm using my fingers don't touch the super glue while you're using the fingers to adhere to the surface the full wedge set okay be careful and here can you see my thumb in front of that small sharpened plate this is an accident waiting to happen it didn't happen but it could careful okay be careful um, I actually got lucky doing this I didn't uh, injured myself and I cleaned it very well the name disappeared just where it had to do do to be done but be careful when holding that piece near that blade
using the photo edge set please give it just a coat of metal primer because some pieces you are going to paint it by hand and the paint will be diluted well it's metal you need to prime it first with a proper primer okay See the difference between out of the box and the Duffy set? It is, it is. I mean, I was smiling at this stage. Uh, and as the build was going, and I was adding some window frames, it, it, beautiful, just beautiful. Here I'm just trying to start to do some dry fitting, um, starting to have an idea of how the decks will fit uh, after both halves of the hull are glued. Um, I am worried about this stage, I haven't done it yet, but I am truly worried because, you know, all this work and if the decks fit wrong, uh, it's let's not bring negativity into this okay um just dry fitting okay the secret is dry fit dry fit dry fit and that's what i'm trying to do here
and uh, replacing victory name by the Duffy set for which set letters um, it's not difficult however you have to be careful use the guide to scribe and 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 point the letters okay use a marker go on top write victory just between the the, the spaces and then place the photo edge letters on top of it very careful okay it's not difficult but you have to pay attention otherwise um, some letters will be you know, misaligned and it won't be the same but even so beautiful very beautiful it changes the whole um, stern uh, of the ship and it's stern not bow right it's stern I'm not wrong so beautiful set and changes the whole visual component of this uh, piece of the ship
now I am just making the doors, the lateral do doors of um, HMS Victory, Admiral door. I have also the resin uh, set for this door and uh, the correct steps also. So I will have to remove a lot from both uh, sides of uh, HMS Victory, this kit. And I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, it was not as easy as I thought it would have been, it would be, but well, I enjoyed it. And um, the quality of the resin is very good. When you saw me just uh, polishing and sanding the resin steps, please, the next time use water, okay? That's the correct way. Uh, I'm just giving a, a very smooth sanding and I didn't use water, but resin is toxic. Water keeps the, the dust particles on, on its place, not on the air, okay? Be careful with that. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all my supporters here on YouTube and on Patreon. Um, you guys really make the difference. If you are interested in uh, supporting me, it, here on YouTube it's just uh, $2 a month if you want to. Um, it goes up to 9 It helps to, to buy some tools. I, you, I'm using Mission Model Paints. But even so, sometimes I need uh, small sanding papers, and, and this kit is a logistic nightmare. It shreds everything you have in your inventory. Inventory. So, thank you all for your support, okay? Uh, if you guys are interested, you have the links uh, here on YouTube. And uh, again, thank you very much. Here, to be very honest, I started to sand the steps in order to make everything smooth for the resin ones. But then I looked around and thought that this wood texture on the kit is cool, it's very good, but, well, when you see Victory, his sides are very smooth, right? And I thought that I should just, how can I say it, tame down a bit the texture in order not to be so exaggerated so I just gave it a small and very light sanding all around that uh, wood texture to tone it down a bit By the way, of course, I will have to paint all the surface again, right? You know, it's a cool effect that Victory never was on this uh, painting uh, DK like this. 
So I will repaint everything again. And here, uh, each time you see me using uh, an airbrush, I, yes, I use bar sharp airbrushes. I am sponsored by them, that's the truth. But I find that their hardware uh, and quality price ratio is very good, very affordable. Uh, if you want to know more about these, uh, links are in the description below. So I am very pleased with this um, airbrush. Also at this stage I realized that it was better to prime everything in black and to only paint the details in yellow, first white and then yellow, rather than the opposite that I was doing. So I changed it. And this is the work I have done so far, guys. Um, still working on it with this taffy set. Uh, it will take some time before all is concluded. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Please stay safe. And always, as always, keep modeling, guys. Keep modeling. Always. Always with a smile. Cheers. Cheers.